Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Fitness Geek. I hope you all are doing great and learning new stuffs daily. In this video, we will set up Azure SQL database failover groups, but without using the portal. Instead, we will use Terraform, which is a tool for building, changing and versioning infrastructure safely and efficiently. It is used to write infrastructure as a code and build the described infrastructure. We can write the code in HCL, which stands for HashiCorp Configuration Language or JSON. It is declarative language, so it's very easy to understand. It takes away the pain of manually provisioning resources from the portal. It is cloud agnostic and allows us to manage multiple cloud providers. I am a HashiCorp certified Terraform associate and I have been working in Terraform for some time now. This is part one of the Terraform series where I'll show you how quickly we can deploy resources via Terraform. The Terraform setup will be discussed in upcoming videos. For now, let's jump into my Visual Studio code which I have already configured using an Azure service principle. This is my Visual Studio code setup. Terraform is already configured with the state file in Azure backend, using Azure service principle to connect to Azure and provision resources. I will explain the configuration files, the code along with version control, CI CD and much more in my upcoming videos of this Terraform series. For now, let's just run my code and see how quickly the resources gets deployed. I have already prepared my code, which creates a resource group named terraform underscore rg and then provisions all the required SQL resources. Firstly, I initialize my terraform, which will download the plugins. Then I run the terraform plan, which creates the execution plan. Here I can check what our code will be going to do. Once we are satisfied, we can run Terraform apply, which will provision the resources as per the plan. For now, I will not be explaining each command or the configuration files. However, I just want to show you how powerful Terraform is. I have used an auto approve flag, which bypasses the confirmation for applying the changes. More on this in my upcoming videos. For now, let's have a look at the execution. The resource group is already created and the primary SQL server is being created. If you take a closer look, my primary and secondary logical SQL server are getting created. Also my firewall rule for the primary is getting created. This code will further provision both the primary and the secondary firewall rule for my public IP. It will create a failover group, create a SQL database and add the database into the failover group. Let's fast forward a couple of minutes. The resource provisioning is almost done. Let's dive into our Azure portal and see what's going on there. I can see my resource group terraform underscore rg. Let's see if the resources have already been provisioned. I can see a few resources. I can see my SQL primary. I can see the database and I can see the SQL secondary. The Terraform apply has successfully completed. Seven new resources added and zero changed. Let's head back to the portal and do a quick review. Everything looks good as of now. I can see the primary SQL server, secondary SQL server, the primary database. I don't see the secondary database. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Maybe I'll try a refresh. Okay, let's go and check the failover. Hmm, Geo replication looks good. 
and yeah everything looks good let's get back to the primary server the primary server let's check the failover groups the failover group is here rami failover group primary is equal primary okay yes the mm. okay so the primary is there secondary my read write listener endpoint my read only listener endpoint so far so good so we have successfully deployed our infrastructure using terraform the database is added we are good to go